Hi, David Campanile here, owner of Campanile Law, located in the state of New Jersey. We handle estate planning and probate. Today's topic is going to be about the importance of naming beneficiaries. But before I do that, if you have any questions about estate planning or probate and want to schedule a free strategy session with me to discuss your estate planning and probate needs, contact me at njestateattorney.com or above or below is a direct link to my calendar. Feel free to set up a day and time right there to talk. So, the importance of naming beneficiaries. This actually was a real world experience actually uh, that happened with a client of mine uh, this week, actually late last week. And I felt, you know, I really need to talk to everybody about it. So had a client who lost her sister. Um, she is the named executor of the uh, her sister's estate and they owned a few accounts together. Uh, uh, preferably investment accounts as uh, joint owners. Well, the executor doesn't have any children, but the person who passed had two children. And the agreement was um, to pass everything to the executor's niece and nephew, basically. Um, and the accounts were shared 50-50. So, what happened here was now that the person's passed, they never named a beneficiary. They never named the children as beneficiaries of 50% of the income of each account. Therefore, this would have first passed outside of probate and directly to the children. They would not have, um, there would not have been a gift tax um, issue. And being that it was going from mom to children in the state of New Jersey, there wouldn't have been an inheritance tax. But since there were no beneficiaries, we have the executor who's still alive and now she wants to give assets or the 50% to uh, the children and then when she passes, her, the other 50% will go to her niece and nephew. And this created a huge kind of issue really that now we needed to, me, the financial planner, um, and had to bring in her accountant to say, okay, how does the gift tax work in this? Um, she's only allowed to gift, uh, I believe it's $12,000 a year. Maybe, uh, that was 2021. Um, and, but there is a lifetime gift amount that she can give, which is about $20 million. Um, so, but now the children are not just only going to face a, she's not going to face just a gift tax issue. Now the children are going to face the inheritance tax issue because it's not passing from a class A beneficiary from mom to children. It's passing from aunt to children to niece and nephew. So it's, it changes everything. So really the crux of this video is if she wanted to, if the decedent, the person who died wanted to avoid these issues, she would have named the beneficiaries on these accounts as her children. We would have avoided the inheritance tax and would have avoided a gift tax issue. Now that things aren't, um, you know, things have changed, those taxes come into play. So please, if you have accounts, even as joint holders with maybe it's a sister and brother or family members, name beneficiaries. Um, I cannot stress that enough. You will avoid these issues, um, similar issues to this, and you're going to avoid um potentially tax issues um, or tax concerns. So please check your accounts, 401ks, 403bs, um, retirements, pensions, stock options, and make sure you've named beneficiaries, even on bank accounts, like simple checking and savings accounts. Make sure you've named a beneficiary or a payable on death. I cannot stress that enough. If you have any questions pertaining to this topic or any other topic in estate planning or probate, and you want to discuss that with me, please do not hesitate to contact me for your free strategy session. You can contact me at njestateattorney.com or you, uh, there's a direct link to my calendar. You can schedule directly a date and time that works best for you. If you know somebody who may be going through these issues, please share this video with them. Let them know you were thinking about them. As always, my name is David Campanile. I'm the owner of Campanile Law located in the state of New Jersey. We handle estate planning and probate.